All right, folks, before I get into the footage from the fishing trip today, just wanted to express some bad news that we got today. Uh, you see me fishing a private lake a lot. Uh, it's where I get all my giant crappie. Uh, the ones that are 14, 15, and I've gotten my six, personal best 16 incher out of there before I started making fishing videos. I uh, caught it about two years ago, three years ago. Uh, that was owned by a church. I had permission to fish there because I used to attend the church there, and I know the owners. Well, they sold that land that was on the side of the church. Uh, a few months ago, and I, I kind of seen something bad coming. But the guy that bought it started building a junkyard all the way around the one side of it. Well, he uh, seen me today. He said he don't want anybody over there. And the bad news is that he's filling it in. He's going to eventually fill it in with dirt so he can have more land for his stupid junk cars. Uh, he doesn't realize it's going to be a lot harder work than he thinks it is because it's eight to 12 foot deep for a good three acres of the lake. The other three acres on that, the other end are relatively shallow, probably ranging from one to five feet. Uh, but anyway, so I just lost my best crappie spot that I've ever had in my life. I don't know where I can compete to get, I don't know any other place where I can get 15s every time I go, 14s every time I go, or have a chance for a 16 and even 17 incher without traveling far. This was only a half an hour from the house. So it's a very, very hard thing to take in right now. It was also my, uh, really my only spot that I could go and catch red ear shell, uh, shell crackers, red ear sunfish. Uh, it also had giant eight to 10 inch bluegills, probably even bigger than that. And it also had the biggest pickerel I've ever caught in my life in there. And it had a uh, very high population of pickerel. So I'm going to be sad to see this place go. I don't know when he's going to be filling it in. Uh, I'm going to try to talk to him uh, and, and uh, see if he will let me at least fish there until he does fill it in. Because uh, this is where I was going to be going for the next three weeks. I had big plans, for, especially for that next weekend. It's going to be good fishing. And the next one after that is going to be the full moon of March. Well, that very last day of March and the first day of April. Uh, I was going to be very early prepared. I know for a fact I would have caught a 16, if not at least a bunch of 15s. I'm going to have to, f to find some new places now. I know several places I can go, but I've fished them for many years and have never gotten over a 13 inch crappie so it's going to be very hard for me to find a place without traveling two or three hours away I, I can go to Kincaid in southern Illinois I got real foot lake about two and a half hours away but um, and, I, and I got Lake Wapapello I know two people that have caught 17 inches out of Wapapello but they're few and far between uh, you have to go. For, you'd have to go every day for a week, probably, to get one. Real foot. I know a guy that went six days straight, all day from sun up to sundown, six days in a row on vacation. He only caught one 16 incher. Um, yeah, I got the coal mines in Illinois. It's too far away, so I'm gonna have to really scout out some new places for crappie. Uh, you know that that was my go-to place for really for all four of them species and uh where i went the most it was just the most convenient for me nobody else really fished it at all just me and one other guy that i know my buddy and uh just the fact that it's going to be filled in is just uh, after me fishing there for five years it's really hard to take in it really sucks so uh, now there is the still I can still fish the little one and a half acre lake that's behind the church that he did not buy that one's so clear the fish are very weary in that you, it's really not that great uh, the one you see me fishing all the time where I catch the big slabs is six acres in size and that's all going to be covered with dirt I just don't know when anyway let's get into the footage uh, from today before all this went downhill I uh, went to a river first at 10 in the morning they bit real good for a half an hour and then they just quit we ended up staying about an hour and a half two more hours there didn't catch a single thing so then i went to the church lake uh she caught two pickerel 
and had a big bow fin on and all the way to the bank and then the bow fin got off unfortunately um, I probably would have done really good but then I got ran off so uh, I'm gonna have to go find somewhere new this weekend and, and just you'll probably never see me catch those big 14 and 15 inch crappies anymore for a while until I can find somewhere that has them but I honestly I don't think nothing that will compare to that all right, you guys take care. Here's the footage from today, what little there was. First fish on a electric chicken two inch Callens triple threat with a pink eight ounce jig head using six pound Mr. Crappie line. It's a little large mouth, pretty small. It is Tuesday, March the 12th, 12th or 13th, can't remember which one, I think it's 12th. Second fish, it is a bass exact same size as the last time. Looks like the exact same fish except this one's a spotted bass, not a large mouth. A little different lure, this one's half pink half yellow with a white tail and a chartreuse jig head and a spinner added to it. This little spot of bass. And I'm uh, letting it fall for eight seconds and then reeled it in real slow. Oh yeah, nice one. Spotted bass. Decent. On a chartreuse beetle spin, folks. I see something following. I wouldn't doubt it. There's this is a big hole. There's a lot of them in here. All right, I caught him on a chartreuse beetle spin. He's about 12 inches. It's a start. Haven't even been fishing five minutes. I had one bigger earlier than that that I know was at least twice that big on the crankbait. But when I went to set the hook, it pulled it out. line out I gotta tighten my drag just a tad that was the problem that time gosh it was another big spotted bass there he is oh it's bigger way bigger this one's 14 Wow well already made a good video huh <laughs> I gotta be careful because this is crappie line. This is only six pound, six pound line. That's why I had the drag so weak. But I had it so weak that when I set the hook, it just yanked the line out. All right, folks, hey, that's a half decent spotted bass right here. Yeah, that's a big old pregnant female. Same thing, I caught him on the chartreuse beetle spin. Boy, and he tore it up too. All right, boy, that's a big old pregnant female spotted bass it's decent it's about 14 inches nice and bloated we're gonna put her back so she, yeah yeah he's about a pound and a half because it's pregnant <laughs> i'm just glad he she bit again because i didn't think it would 
I think that's the same one I had on the crankbait too. All right. Well, the beetle spin seems to be working. Yeah, you need to put one on. You just gotta let it sink. I count to like six or seven before I even start reeling it in. Uh huh. I don't know. You should. Oh yeah. Yep. Another bass. Spotted bass again. Third one. Obviously this lure's working. <laughs> Probably anything with a spinner would work. It's not bad. He's about 12 or 13 again. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Another prego. All right, folks. Chartreuse beetle spin prevails once again. Third bass. Been fishing maybe 12 minutes. They're, none of them are huge, but they're all a foot long or a little longer. They're not babies, but they're not big. But I'm happy with them. They're decent. Got him. Crankbait bass again. Two on the crankbait and two on the beetle spin. Or no, three on the beetle spin. I had one on the crankbait that got off earlier. That's what it was. Same size. All right, folks, I caught this on a Chartreuse Bandit 200 series crankbait. Like that. Chartreuse in black. Another, another bloated pregnant female spotted bass. They all seem to be about the same size right now, about 12 to 13. That's number four in a half an hour. All right. He already on the first cast? Oh my God. Huh. Good job, let me see it. Pickerel. Can't quite see it from here, but it sure does look like one, yeah. This is a really sad day in fishing because the church that owns the bigger lake over here that you always see me fish behind me, which is where the one I catch all my 14 and 15 inch crappies out of, they sold it to a guy that's building a big junkyard over there. He's going to fill it in and he ran me off. So my favorite fishing place for crappie pickerel, red ear, and bluegill is now going to be gone. Not bad on a minnow, huh? Wow. Yeah. Good job. Maybe that's what I had earlier. Then. Could be. <laughs> You're measuring it? It's about 15. Bobber and minnow? Huh?
they're starting to bite again. The pickerel. Here, let him put him right here. Okay. Let me see it swim. 